One, two, one, two, one, two. And strike! Ha! I got the ball this time! Oh! <laughs> you startled me! Hello, I'm Arlo. I got a bit excited there, didn't I? Uh, soccer's my favorite game! My keepers kick the ball with their feet, but we use our beaks. It makes sense when you see how short our legs are. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm looking rather tubby, that's because I'm about to molt soon. When penguins molt, we lose our waterproof feathers and can't swim and catch fish. So, in the weeks leading up to it, we eat lots and lots of fish. And this extra fat helps us get through the two to three weeks of fasting on land. It can be daunting, but I know it's all part of the process. A new set of feathers grows out soon enough. Speaking of feathers, see my yellow-orange patches on my chest and sides of my head? That's how you know I'm a king penguin. We're the second largest penguins in the world, after the emperor penguins. It is pretty rare for king penguins to successfully hatch under human care. I was hatched and hand-raised in Drong Bird Park, so my keeper Sam's special. I don't know about that, but it doesn't hurt, I guess. I mean, I do the usual penguin things. I hang out with my penguin friends, go exploring when I'm feeling brave, admire the view. Whoop! Almost tripped over that rock there. I'm a lot more graceful underwater, I promise. When we moved into our new home in Bird Paradise, the pool looked very deep and scary at first. My keepers gently egged me on, and I took my first deep dive. It was such a thrill! Oh, want to see how well I swim? Challenge accepted, buddy. Come find me at Penguin Cove. See ya.